Hi everyone and welcome to my stop on the hop. It's Sherry Carroll here with a card idea using some of the product from our kit. I've started my card out by creating a panel and a top folding card with white card stock and also cut a couple strips from some of the card stock that's included in the kit. I've cut these card stocks at about an inch and a half and an inch and here I'm just going to go ahead and use my tape adhesive and run this onto the back of that card stock. You can see it's double sided and I'll just place this onto my card. I want the one inch strip to sit up a little bit so I've added a few foam squares to the back and I can just put this on the other strip. I love this row of circle numbers from the stamp set and I thought I would highlight a few of the numbers for my card. So here I have a strip of white cardstock and the Desert Storm which is also included in the kit. And I've mounted my numbers onto my stamp press and I'm just going to ink these up with some Versamark ink. And now I can go ahead and use my anti-static bag a little bit on my strips and go ahead and stamp onto my papers. I'll be using white embossing powder for both pieces so I'll go ahead and sprinkle on my powder and tap off the excess and I'll go ahead and do the same to my Desert Storm piece and once I have off all the excess off I can go ahead and heat this with my heat tool. I have used my scissors to cut around the numbers but have left a little bit of a border to keep that in one solid strip. So here I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back and as you can see I have some foam squares where it will channel around that strip that's on the card and once I have the placement I can press that down. I have completely cut around the 2 and the 5 and I'm putting these on the card to be like December 25th. So I'm placing the 2 over the 4 and the 5 over the 5 and I've used a little piece of foam square so that they sit up just a little bit. And once I have those in place I have my distress marker barn door here and I'm going to scribble this onto my acrylic block and I'll be using my water brush pen to do some water coloring. This is a really simple technique and so my white embossing will resist the watercolor so I just grab some of that marker and then I can go ahead and just paint right on into the numbers. So I'll continue doing that until I have both of the numbers painted in. I have die cut a white snowflake which is also included in the kit and use my die cut machine. Next I'm using one of the basic gray stickers and this one says ho 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 and I've added some foam squares to the back. I've also created a little channel so this will sit on top of that top paper and channel down around so it'll sit flat onto the card. So you just double up on your foam dots until you can get that to sit flat. So now that's kind of pointing at the 25 and my snowflake will sit under the sticker like that but I want to put some glue just on the one side so I'm using my two-way glue pen. I'll just add a few dots of glue and then I can affix that to the card. So that concludes my video for the Holiday Hop, and now I'll send you on to the wonderful, magnificent Nicole McGorick.